super durable, super heavy duty, got wheels all on one side here. What's up everyone, this is Joe Sarvino, New England RC, here to showcase another great product. So, I just recently picked up this Fresh Park quarter pipe jump, and this thing is insane. I've seen videos on it, it's great for skateboarding, but it's also great for RC cars. I've seen things go crazy on this thing, seeing cars go to the moon. This thing is heavy duty, well built, it's also portable, folds up so you're able to move it around from place to place. It has wheels on it so you can roll it around. I'm real excited about it. It does come in two boxes, it is bulky and I'm not sure what kind of problems I'm gonna encounter. It also is very heavy guys. Just to warn you, if you're thinking about getting this jump, it's 175 pounds. I was really reluctant to get it, but it seemed like it's still worth it even though it's gonna be heavy. And also you can pick up one of these on amazon.com is where I picked it up, but you can also go to the Fresh Park website directly and order from them as well. And there's also an attachment piece that you can buy if you wanted to get it to go up even higher. By itself, it's about just under four feet high. And when you add the piece to it, it gets it up to a solid four feet and also adds an additional extension with a additional legs on the back and a, a longer platform to support your cars. So we're not gonna do that though, because I think it's gonna be fine. But if we need to, that'll be something we can address at a later date. But today I'm gonna put it together. We're gonna see how it works. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. I just cut the tape around the edges, pulled this box apart. Here's what it looks like inside. You can see the manuals right there, Fresh Park. And this is how it looks all packaged up. Now this is only one of the boxes. The other one I still have to go. You can see it's packaged all nice and tight. Lots of work to do. It's gonna be a project. All right, so I got the first box taken apart. Came with this nice detailed poster board and manual here, with all the detailed instructions on what we gotta do. Also comes with these two big panels and four caster wheels and a box of hardware. This piece here also came with box number one as well. Fun tips here, you can actually do two quarter pipes side by side, make it twice as wide, or you can also do back to back if you wanted to do for like skateboarding and stuff. Kind of cool with the possibilities here. So that's box one and on to box two. We'll see what's in store for us next. Here's a quick look at box number two. Nicely packed. Here's our panel and more stuff inside. Here's the contents of box number two. So you got this other panel here and then inside we've got more, you know, the legs and whatnot that I'm going to need. You can see all the parts that are going to be coming together here. Okay, guys, so I got all the contents out of the boxes. So we've got four large panels here. We've got this large bracket, a couple of arms here, two short ones, two long ones. And then I guess these are the legs too. And then the uh, casters and the hardware. So that's pretty much it for the contents. Let's get to the assembly, starting with the hardware box. Okay, here's what the hardware box looks like. Got some screws and plates and other casters. Lots of stuff in there we'll get to in a moment. Okay guys, I separated out the contents in the hardware box. So we've got these four pieces here that are gonna turn to lock things in place. It looks like we've got 10 of these in and hooks here. These two thicker hooks, 12 all together for the hooks, several long bolts, four short ones, several nuts, wing nuts, hex wrench tool, smaller wrench, several small washers, and I separated all the large washers out in that box there. Step one, lay all four panels flat on the ground, align the upper ramp panel, the top deck panel, raise the top deck panel to align the hinges. Note the upper panel and middle panel are interchangeable. All right, so just to look at it here, this is the top deck panel that they're referring to right here. You can see, because this one's different than the rest, this is where it lays flat. I did line up, you can see the middle brackets are all lining up here. The two legs will attach there. So that's the top part of it. You can see the middle sections are the exact same two pieces with the hinges identical. And then it ends with the end piece, which you can see there are no hinges at the end. So that's how I know it's correct. I use a hex wrench tool and quarter wrench to secure the upper ramp panel to the top deck panel with three eighth Allen bolt sets. Start with the outside hinges first, then secure the middle hinges. Okay, I got the first two connected and you can see now that I can fold it easily. 
Repeat step two to secure the middle ramp panel and lower ramp panel. Once all panels are in place, secure all bolts, but do not over tighten. Over tightening the bolts will prevent the ramp from folding easily. Okay, I got three panels on now. And uh, even though the directions say to leave these on the ground flat, it's a lot harder to put these bolts in when you're there flat on the ground. I found it easier to stand them up. And I just did one side this way and then I lifted the other side up the other way. And uh, that's kind of how I did it. But you can see, I'm making progress here. Three panels looking good. Okay, four panels all together. Two, three, four. And they seem to be moving pretty good. So far guys, I have to say I'm in love with this thing. I really like the way this is shaping up. It looks really durable. It's manageable so far. Doing this by myself and not really struggling too much. Every now and then I have a little trouble getting some of these bolts in, but you know, a little hammer here and there. Only when necessary, mild force, you can get it done, so. Step four, attach the steel toe to the outer edge of the lower ramp panel with four one and a quarter Allen bolt sets with large washers, 16 total pieces. Top of the steel toe should be leveled with the riding surface. Securely tighten all bolts. We need to attach the steel toe, this metal bar piece here. Okay, and there are four bolts, the small ones that I did tighten extra tight because I didn't want this steel toe going anywhere. So that's looking good, nice and secure. Step five, insert the legs completely into the leg housings on the top deck panel. Use two knobs to secure each leg without over tightening. Make sure the legs are secure and firmly in place. That went on fairly easily. So you can see here, got two knobs on that corner there and two knobs on this corner here. Step six, double check that bolts and knobs are secured, but not over tightened. The bolts will prevent ramp from folding easily. Turn the ramp upright. All right, tighten the knobs a little bit more. Got it up on end. This thing is looking really, really good. I really love the looks of it. It's super durable, super heavy duty. I love how wide it is. This is gonna take on the X-Max. This is gonna take on the XRT and an 8S Outcast without a problem. Step seven, attach the single hole ends of the short support bars to the middle hinges. A second hole from the top on each side of the ramp. Secure each support bar with a J-shaped bolt and wing nut threaded bolt facing inward. Attach the long support bars to the lower hinges, repeating the steps above. Okay, next step is completed. So you can see the short bars coming up along here, the long bars going across here. Step eight, fully extend the ramp by pulling on the top deck panel, attach the four hole ends of the long support bar and one short support bar to each leg by inserting one J shaped bolt through both bars and the leg hole. So you can see that I've got those secured on both sides now. Step nine, insert the wheels into the frame sleeves and secure the wing nuts. The wheels should be faced inward when the ramp is in use and outward when preparing to fold. All right, next up is our caster wheels. Let's get it done. All right, guys, so I got wheels all on one side here. So when I fold this up, the wheels will be there to maneuver. That's the idea. All right, so this part I'm not too keen on. When I fold this up, I have to take those legs off that I just spent all that time working on. They have to come out along with the support brackets, and then uh, you pull out everything here, and then you fold it up, and then you have some J brackets that go in there. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Kind of hoping not to have to unscrew anything. I was kind of hoping this thing would just have some kind of latch or something. Maybe like the legs would fold in or something. I was kind of hoping but not the case. Eh, other than that, it's still pretty cool. All right, here's how it looks when it's all done, guys. Got this triangle shape going on. I got J bracket here, J bracket here, and a J bracket here. This is completely folded. So that's gonna do it for today, folks. Got my Fresh Park ramp all ready to go. Next time I get some daylight, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna give it a rip. Right now is not the time, but uh, I did want to at least Get a video out of this here and uh, show you guys what it's all about, what I went through to put it together. Like I said, there's some pros, there's some cons, but you know, weigh it out for yourself, see what you like, what you don't like, what you think is worth it to you. It is very heavy, but it is very stable as well. That's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and smash that notification bell to stay updated on when my next video becomes available. Until then, this is Joe Sorrentino saying thanks for watching. See you on the next one.